Ooh, it's so nice. So nice. What's up, guys? I'm using the Gardiner Extreme 25 foot water fed pole. It's so lightweight, man. From Detroit Sponge in Wixom, Michigan. They deliver all over the United States. UPS, it'll show up like really quickly. This thing is so lightweight. It's got the Boar's Hair Bristle Brush and the Quad Jets. It's hooked up to the Unger Hydro Power System. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm just playing, man. I feel so good right now out here cleaning windows. Oh. What is that, bird poop? Don't worry, we can handle it. Rinse it down, a nice little rinse. The water is sheeting down the glass. It is gorgeous. You can hear the birds are chirping. It's springtime, man. What a beautiful day. Hey, what was that? These ones are done. The water fed pole. Greatest invention of all time. Uh, so crispy. It's an exultant cadenza. What's up? Keith Kelfus with the window cleaning blueprint. In this video, Cleaning a house for 299 bucks. No screens. Screens are four bucks a piece. It's cleaning the windows with the water fed pole system. It's called the Gardiner Extreme. Gardiner Extreme. 25 foot reach. I got it from Detroit Sponge along with the Unger Hydro Power System with the DI resin bags. I'll put links below if you want to check it out. But the reason I'm making this video is because I decided to raise the prices. We have a new $2.99 minimum for cleaning windows. And although we will break that rule when necessary, it's just a new standard, it's a new minimum. And um, also, a tip I learned from my buddy Anthony Heyman screens no more free screen cleaning or no more first time free screen cleaning uh, free screen cleaning for first time customers screens are four bucks a piece phone's ringing right now everybody wants their windows clean but I'm not taking the call because I'm talking to you I'll call them back so I want to talk about anxiety your first couple years in the business you might get a lot of anxiety around feeling like uh, you have to do everything perfect so you'll be like having a panic attack in the customer's house trying to scrub every little tiny thing because you're afraid they're gonna see it and then if they see it they're gonna look at you like you're not a morally a good person or you're lying to them or you're taking advantage of them um, you know doing a great job makes sense but what it takes to do a perfect job that little extra 5% that's a perfect job is gonna take you 30% more time or it could be literally an extra hour per job about you obsessing over that stuff and it's the truth that the amount of stress that you're gonna put yourself through in your life to the point where you can you can 
you can even have a breakdown. There's people in window cleaning I've heard that have actually had breakdowns to where like they just can't clean windows anymore because they're so obsessed with every little spot and they feel like they have to get every spot and everything and like the tracks are dirty and oh my God, I'm doing a disservice to my customers. Like that might not be you, but what I'm saying is if, is your mental and your emotional health, where's the line? Like, is it worth it? To put yourself through that amount of hell, it's not. So you finally get to a point, you say, you know what? This is my standard, this is what I do in window cleaning. And now you become confident in that new boundary and the customer can feel that boundary. And then, because in the world of commerce, a lot of people, you know, they hire you or you hire somebody, you see the work they do. And if you're not ultra happy, the next time you just go with somebody else. You can't please everybody. I know these all these cl cliches are true, but they're not sayings just for no reason. Because they're true. <laughs> they're true. You can't please everybody really actually means that you can't please everybody. So if you want to be a window cleaner, call it the white who's a perfectionist call it the white glove service if that's your personality call it the white glove service and charge people like five hundred dollars just to clean their windows on a basic a normal size house right and that way you at least be getting paid for being a complete psycho um obsessive compulsive com perfectionist because i did it so now we do great work but I'm legit, I'm not gonna go take the ladder back out and crawl all the way back up a ladder after I put it away because there's some little tiny microscopic speck in someone's house. I was doing that and I cost myself a lot of frustration, a lot of time and energy and money and it was over some construct in my head that was based off of feelings of, feelings of unworthiness. I didn't feel worthy of anything. Felt, you know what I mean? So that was my thing. So where's that line? So that's all I wanted to say in this video. I wish you the best of success, my friend. So where's the line for you? Let me know in the comments below what your level of, of cleanliness is. What is cleanliness to you? What type of clients do you attract? And where are you at in this process? Do you go through the stuff I'm talking about? Or, or, or are you over all that? What's your level? Let me know in the comments below. All right, my friend, hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the flip flop, dog. <laughs> also, if you're new in the window cleaning business, check out my free three video series on how to start a window cleaning business. It's an in-depth video series, and it's totally free. Like I walk through all of it. And it's very in-depth and it'll help your mind get over the hurdles if you're new in the business I'll put a link in the description below called three free series three free series click it and you can get it totally free okay my friend peace